Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to pass data through middleware in Express.js. So let's go ahead and get started. I have this application. It's really simple, just for demo purposes. And it has a home page, which we're on. And if we go to the post index, we can see three different posts by three different users. And if we go to a post that we created, then we can edit that post. And here's the edit form. So if we go back and we go to a post that we didn't create and we click on the edit form, then it'll just give us a error here saying that we must be the author of the post if we want to edit it. Okay, great. So over in our code, it's pretty simple. Here's our app.js. I went ahead and put the routes in here since we only have a couple of them. Basically, we have our index right here, our show page, and then our edit page. And the edit page has this is author middleware. And so is author is going to check and see if the user that's currently logged in has the same ID as the author of the post that they're trying to edit. So if we go look at that middleware, we can see right here, it finds the post by the ID using the ID coming from the params, and then it checks the post's author ID against the current user, the user that's logged in, their ID. If that is a match, then it goes on to the next middleware. At that point, it's going to render the view but if it's not a match, then it's going to throw an error and redirect back to the home page. So if we go back over to app.js and we go down to this edit route, you can see that it runs that middleware. Now let's assume that the person that's trying to edit that post is in fact the author of the post. So it finds that they are the author and it invokes next, sending us to this callback right here. So at this point, we're finding the post and then we're passing it in right here with the second argument to res.render. Now it's a local variable and it's available to us over in views, posts, edit.ejs. We can pull things like the title and the body from that post. So that may be how you're doing it currently, where if you have some middleware, you're finding the post and you're doing the check, and then you're invoking next and going to the next function or the next middleware. In this case, that would be this callback right here. Now here we are finding the post all over again so that we can render it into the view as a local variable. That's not dry, right? Do not repeat yourself. Here we're finding the post and over in the middleware we're finding the post. So the question is how can we pass the post through the middleware to the next function in that middleware chain? And if there's multiple functions, how do we just keep sending it through all the way to that last function where we ultimately render the view? The answer is really simple. We use the res.locals object. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So right here we have the post. We're finding it for the first time inside of this is author middleware. We check to see if the author of the post matches the current user. It does. Now you would think, okay, maybe I can pass it through with next. We can say next post. The problem is if you pass anything into next, it's going to assume that that is an error because that's how it's designed. So you're not gonna pass it through with next. What you're gonna do is use res.locals and say res.locals.post is equal to post. So now the post object is available on res.locals. So when we go over here, let's go ahead and save this file. When we go over to app.js and we go down, here's is author, it just got ran. The author did match, so we passed the post through with res.locals. And at this point, you're thinking, oh, okay, great. I don't need to find the post. I can just destructure the post from the res.locals object and then pass it in here. So that would look something like this. Const post is equal to res.locals. Great, now we have the post and we can pass it through here. But what you may be forgetting is that res.locals is the same thing as this second argument. So at this point, the post variable is already on the res.locals object and it's available to us inside the view as post. So what we can do is we can get rid of this second argument entirely, unless of course you're using it for some other local variables, get rid of this line here, and all we have to do is render post edit, and then the edit view will already have access to the post because back in the middleware, we set the post on res.locals. So let's save all these files and try it out and see if it still works. So I'll head over to my application, go home, go to the post index. We'll go to the post that I was the author of. So we go to hello world. And now if we edit it, it still works. We have access to the post data. So the hello world title, we use the title in two places and then the body. And so at that point we can edit it. 
Now, of course, everything else is working the same way. If we go back to the post index and we go to one that we didn't create, that we're not the author of, and we try to edit, then it's going to give us the same error. To recap, if you're gonna use any middleware that finds data that you need to use in other middlewares later on in that middleware chain, then use the res.locals object and put that document or data object, wherever it may be, onto res.locals and pass it through to the next middleware. If there's multiple middlewares, it'll just follow all the way through until that request response cycle is done and it'll end up in the view as a local variable available to you to be able to render into the page. So that's it for this quick tip. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then check out my code with node course on devsprout.io. Thanks a lot and we'll see you in the next video.